Good evening and welcome to your News Now Sports. I'm Tony Quach. It's year two in the Matt Nardo era for Bluffton University football. And after changing the culture and environment, the mission for the Beavers is getting back over 500. Al Dylan Tyson has more. In year two for Bluffton Beavers coach Matt Nardo, he's got high praise for the team's improvement. The one thing I think is right now watching us, we look fast. Nardo's first full offseason at the university means the first full recruiting cycle, which allowed them to build up the roster size by more than 20. But for the on-field product, it's been his team's changes in the weight room. This is also year two through our strength program. So you see the changes in our older guys. You see the way they're running, the way they're moving. That wouldn't have happened without two years with our strength system, with our program, uh, and the way we've done things in the offseason. The program is run by assistant coach Chris Shank, whose energy and mentality have been infectious for players, such as senior Nick Perry. Coach Shank does a heck of a job. He does really well. He, he pushes us every morning. We get in there about sometimes 4.30 in the morning, 5.30 in the morning, get in there, we work, we do our thing, we run hard, lift hard. The difference is most noticeable on the defense. A weak point for Bluffton last season, allowing 43 points per game. But new defensive coordinator Jacob Zier's system emphasizes playing fast, a perfect fit with the goals of the conditioning program. He's got the team expecting big strides from their defensive leaders like Marvis McWright. Well, with Coach Z coming in, you know, uh, we just had to come with a new mentality. Uh, so our mentality is we're going to swarm the ball and, you know, we're going to play as fast as we can. To be 100% honest, we're a lot more positive this year. We're flying to the ball better. We're moving well. We're moving well as a unit. On the offensive side of the ball, the passing attack was bluffed in strong suit last year. And although they've got an all-new quarterback room for 2023, they do return their talent at receiver. And that includes senior Ethan Berenger, who feels they've got a better grasp on the offense than ever before. So last year, I mean, it was kind of all over the place with the offense, where we were at. I think uh, since spring ball, we've really developed as a team. From an offensive standpoint, I'd like to see us score at least four or five touchdowns a game. But for that success, Coach Nardo gives just as much credit to another position group. I think we're very, very talented at receiver, and more importantly, we're very talented up front as offensive line. Uh, if you want to be successful in the passing game, you got to keep your quarterback on his feet. Last year, the Beavers ranked sixth in all of Division Three for the fewest sacks allowed nationwide. And in 2023, four of those five starting O-linemen returned. And that's a huge key for our success, both in the pass game and the running game. Uh, and and it's, a, it's a staple of what we do. The leader among those starters will be four-year starter Marcus Finley. Yeah, I feel like there's a lot of pressure on us up front. I've just been trying to keep the guys, you know, keeping up to the standard, making sure that they know what they're doing, how we play. We all have a common goal of what we want to be better than what we did last year. That's what we're striving for right now. Between bigger numbers, a bigger energy, and just a bigger presence for these Bluffton Beavers, the brotherhood is as close as it can be. I'm big on family, so my family drives me. And the team out here, this is my family. So, And I feel like this is the same way with the guys on the team. We're, we're uh, drove by families. In Bluffton, Dylan Tyson, your News Now Sports.